Hi, my name is Al Sandberg and welcome to part two of this um, data response question on economics. Uh, this question focuses on market structures, specifically the equilibrium profits and costs in competitive markets. We already uh, gave an overview of markets, uh, different types of markets, classifications of markets, and uh, we we look we carefully looked at the diagram in this question. If you missed all of that, please go back to part one of this uh, video. So now let's actually go and try to solve this problem. Right. So let's just keep the diagram. Right. So now, in this um, competitive market, we've been asked at what level of output and prices is the firm in equilibrium. Now, keep in mind that um, equilibrium is really the place in a market where you consider things to be stable, where uh, there's no incentive to leave the market. Right. The there's no incentive from the uh, economic agents, whether it's buyers or sellers, to mo to change anything. Right? They are perfectly happy where things are. Things are stable. Now, of course, they can move from this equilibrium due to different factors, but uh, the equilibrium state is like a state of steadiness. Right? Uh, where things are optimal. Right? That's where you want them to be. Um, resources are used efficiently. They've been allocated where they need to be allocated. Um, it's the maximum profits or lowest costs you can uh, achieve or you are just producing enough for what the market wants if you are considering demand and supply okay so now let's um, in a perfectly competitive um, market equilibrium actually is um, where we have the the marginal cost equal to the price and I really, which is just a uh, marginal revenue, right? So equilibrium in a perfect market is where you have marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. So the cost of producing one extra unit is equal to the revenue you get from producing one extra unit. Okay, keep that in mind. So if we look for this point in our graph, we have, it's this point here, where you have um, the marginal cost curve cutting the um, price or the average revenue or the marginal revenue in the case of a perfect market. So this point is what we're considering, right? But then what we've been asked for is the um, level of output and the prices. So therefore for A, Roman 1, so level of output, in fact, let's just say out output, you know what I mean. So output which is down here is 50 kilograms of whatever this good is right and uh, and price is equal to 20 dollars 20 dollars okay and then we have um, now and then in Roman 2 we've been asked to calculate the firm's profit now so Roman 2, we're asked to calculate profit. And remember, profit really is um, revenue minus cost, right? You, you sell something, you take out how much you, it costs you to produce it, and then you have your profit, right? Let's just make some more room here. Um, okay, so in this case, we have actually, you may want to see this. Yeah, so we have let me bring that down a little bit. Okay. So in this case, we have, so we're multiplying out these averages. So the, the average price, which is 20 uh, units by the number of units we sold. So the profit is going to be equals to the twenty dollars we're selling each times the number of units um, we sold times the units which is fifty units right so and then we're going to subtract from it the cost of um, production right 
and the, we, we see here that it costs us um, 12 12 uh, um, dollars to produce this same uh, output right so the cost per unit of this 50 kilogram is going to be the 12 dollars multiplied by the units we sold right so let's just scroll down a little bit and give so, some more room so now we have profit is going to be so, so 20 20 times 50 so that's going to be 2 times 5 is 10 so it's going to be 10 and then we add our two zeros so it's going to be a thousand dollars minus the the cost which is going to be 12 times 50 12 times uh, 5 is 60 60 and then we add our zero so it's 600 dollars right so therefore symbol and maths profit of the farm is going to be equal to one thousand dollars minus six hundred dollars is going to be four hundred dollars right so that's the profit of the farm in equilibrium right now the second question is in uh, the uh, follow-up question is interesting we're asked to what type of profit this is right so now if we go up and see now remember that it cost us um, twelve dollars to produce this uh, 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 um, this particular this particular product right and then we were selling this uh, product at twenty dollars but actually we could have actually sold this product le less than uh, twenty dollars and still made enough profit right so this uh, profit we're making here it's so this region represents um, the abnormal profit we're making right so in this case these profits are called abnormal profits abnormal profits right and that's because the um, average revenue is greater than the uh, uh, average cost right so the price we're selling is above how um, the cost the average cost of uh, producing the good right so therefore we're experiencing abnormal profit now keep in mind that in the perfect in a perfectly competitive market these profits can only be sustained in the short run in the long run like more the, uh, these profits these abnormal profits will attract more people into the market and sooner or later they will vanish okay so yeah so they made the so this the farm made abnormal profits and then we have let's in let's re we have a bit more time to wrap this up we've been asked why is the average revenue uh, function horizontal but now remember they say function here but that function is represented by th this curve which is a, just a line here really now it's horizontal because in a perfectly competitive uh, market the price is fixed right so you cannot change uh, 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 the price prices are fixed in a pr in a perfectly competitive market right buyers or sellers cannot influence the price now keep in mind that this is a somewhat fictitious uh, market type usually what you're more likely to see is monopolistic competition because uh, these perfect markets ra rarely exist in reality okay okay so that's why it's horizontal because you cannot um, change the uh, the price is fixed okay okay now we are also asked about the relationship uh, between average cost and uh, so yeah average total cost and marginal cost now remember I told you the marginal cost is the cost of producing one more unit than you're currently producing right if you notice the marginal cost curve so one relationship is that when the um, average when the marginal cost is um, falling you also notice that the average total cost curve is also falling right actually 
uh, so so that's one thing you need